Hello everyone and welcome to another I Pick My Butt video. Today we're playing The Survivalist and this is a new game that came out. I'm currently playing it on iOS. It's only available through the Apple Arcade, not on Android, but it's also available, I believe, on PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, and the Switch. So I started playing this game and realized I didn't quite know what I was doing. So I've played it for a quite amount of time now and figure we will go through a beginner guide of just the basic stuff of what to do. Right off the beginning, you're gonna find yourself stranded on a raft here and the raft actually has four items inside it. But one of the big things you wanna do is try to make sure you get food and also craft things on this. So you can see, we're just gonna drag these things down, grab them, and we'll eventually use these to kind of craft into better things. Now when it comes to chopping down trees and stuff, we actually need to take a couple of pebbles. So we're gonna pick some up here and we will craft these with the buttons you see up at the top left. Now things to keep in mind is you see the heart down the bottom left there. We gotta make sure that we number one, eat and sleep in order to keep that up. So first thing we wanna do here is we wanna make a bed and you can see what we actually need to do. We're just gonna click the spot where we want it and then hit that little plus green arrow down in the bottom below. We go over to it, we can actually go and add whatever items is needed for it, but we'll have to craft those items. First, we're gonna make this handy ax by just taking a couple of pebbles together. And this is how we're gonna mainly cut down trees and bushes and anything else. This will be the item you're mainly gonna start out with and you'll go through a bunch of them. So we're just gonna go around to these, pick these things up and you can see how quick our inventory is gonna fill up down below. Now, the second we crafted that handy ax, we actually unlocked four more items on it. We're just gonna go to the next one here and see if we can make it. And we do have all the materials, so we're gonna craft that too. And then we'll actually unlock the club. So we're gonna go through all these different items here, actually make every single one of them. But now that we actually go over to our bed, you can see the only item needed is the comfy padding. And for the comfy padding, all we're missing is the straw bundle. Now, if we went over and clicked on the straw bundle, we would actually need to get the long grass. So you can see we grabbed some right down here by the bush. It was kind of tough to see there was some long grass next to it. We're gonna pick those up. And since we're right next to it, we're just gonna take this tree down because we're really gonna need as many materials as we can. Now you can see, once again, we're filled up down below. Eventually, we'll get a chest going. And the nice thing about this is we can recruit monkeys and have monkeys do the work of chopping things down. We're actually gonna get a chest and they have a monkey carry it too. So we have our three grass, we can make our straw bundle here. So we'll craft this together, get that going. Now we can go back in and make that comfy padding. And now we're back up to our bed here and you can see if we click on the blueprints, we're gonna unlock four new things when we make it. So we made our sawgrass, we unlocked another item. And now as far as doing this, we have to add the items on top go to our multi-tool and then we can go and kind of work that in place. Once we get this, we'll officially have that bed set. In order to sleep in it though, we're gonna need to make a blanket. So you can see our four new items on it. One of the big things we're gonna need to do is we wanna get that campfire going. But first, let's see if we can get that blanket. We've got our leaves and now we can set that on there and this will make it where we can sleep and actually save the game. The campfire is also gonna use some of the pebbles, so these are pretty easy to make. We will have to use that multi-tool once again, and you can see the little blue meter underneath that and our hand axe. They do eventually wear out and you have to make new ones to replace them. This game may seem straightforward and simple, but believe me, with all the items that can be made and stuff you need to find, it does get pretty difficult. There is enemies too that will attack you. Once we get this campfire built, we then can throw wood on top of it, get things lit, and then we actually open up a recipe tab to make foods and other things. You can see with that campfire being built, now we have the chance to make that small chest. So we'll just put the blueprint down for that. That's gonna take wood and rope, and we'll go over and use our multi-tool and get the chest going. And I just realized I never put the blanket onto the bed itself, so I couldn't even save right now if I wanted to. But we're gonna make this chest. I'm gonna go through, clean up all these trees and stuff. I did go through a couple of those axes. I did have to take some pebbles and make those. We'll make another bed here for some reason. Maybe I didn't see that it was just clogged up in the inventory. But once I actually put that on, then it'll give us the option to sleep or save or sleep and save. And this is gonna be something you're gonna wanna do quite a bit because this is the only way you can actually save in the game. Out of the 12 items on the crafting tab, we've actually made five of them so far. We did find some rope on the raft, but that doesn't count for it making it. We're gonna to need to get some more long grass in order to do so. We'll finally open up that chest and just drag things up to it there. That way when we go down and find more long grass or even find the monkey, we can just stock up on whatever we need. We could, if we wanted to, pick up the chest and carry it ourselves, but then we would have to set it down every time in case we ran into enemies in order to attack. We're gonna go running down right now. In order to run, you have the button that's right above our ax there. 
hold that down and you can actually run in the game. If you just tap it once, you kind of do like this barrel roll. If you look to the right, you actually will see a monkey trapped in a cage. We're going to just bash that with our axe, unlock him, and then that monkey will be our friend and follow our orders. There is other ways to get monkeys. You'll see them running around and you'll have to make them a bowl of food and hand it over to them. It can be a little bit tricky because you'll go and make that food and you'll end up eating it yourself instead of handing it to them. So now we'll go over, we'll long press on this so we can pick it up, bring it over to our monkey, and now our monkey is pretty much our walking inventory. Now you just saw that up there, we just had charcoal pop out of our actual fire pit there. We'll grab that, pop that in our inventory because we can use that later on. And it's never a bad idea to keep these fire pits going so you can get unlimited amount of charcoal. With all materials I had grabbed, I realized I had enough to make this club. I actually put the chest on the ground, but we don't really need to do that. You can walk right up to the monkey and actually grab items right out of it. But like I said, I was still learning playing this. So we're gonna go through, make one of these clubs, and this will be how we fight off the enemies. When it gets dark out, there ends up being some bats, and there's also always these kind of ghoul looking guys running around too, and they can be a little bit feisty to deal with. I was able to score enough items here to finally make our rope, so we'll go use our long grass on that. And if your inventory is full, it'll just kind of toss itself onto the ground. But we just unlocked three more items here, and we actually have enough to make the bowl and this tool handle here. So we're gonna make the tool handle. That way we can unlock that last tab. You see it just get thrown on the ground there. We definitely don't wanna leave that. We wanna get that picked up, but we gotta clear some things out first. And you can see the last item here is going to be the torch. So good thing we have that charcoal. So overall, we still have four more things to make on this actual craft tab. The wooden rod, that's an easy one. That's gonna take some wood and we can pretty much find wood anywhere in this game. Now that wooden rod will be used to make other things on it, but going down to this bowl here, we just need a couple of palm leaves. Look for the palm trees on the beach, chop those down, and that's where you can find the leaves to craft this. Now the stone chunk, that's only gonna take some pebbles, and eventually you might go, geez, I can't find any pebbles laying around. Just go over that rock boulder right to the right of us and beat that down with your ax. That'll drop a couple of them. When it comes to the torch, we actually need three items. We've already made the rod, we made the rope, and we got the charcoal from the fire pit. So that's pretty much it for making the crafted items. As I was saying, this is the very basics of the crafting on it. But just knowing how to do these and where to find the items will make it that much easier for you to enjoy the game. Now we will make more videos on the crafting as it expands, plus the blueprints, even some of the recipes, and a ton of other things on this game. Just make sure when you are playing it that you're constantly going back to your bed, clicking the save and the sleep, because the last thing you want to do is play this again because you forgot to save it. On top of that, make sure you're eating things like the berries, the coconuts, even making the recipes. You want to keep your tummy full at all times too. But like I said guys, I'm going to make a ton more videos on this. If it's something that interests you, don't forget, like, subscribe, and remember, I picked my butt.